Good morning. We are back. Hello, Liam. I see you and all your friends through that screen. Mr. Hudson, good morning, sir. It is Wednesday, October 28th. We are almost through the month of October. I cannot believe it. It is day five of our specials rotation. One, two, three, four, five. Mr. Hudson, good morning to you. Let's get started. Good morning. All right. Let's see who we have today, boys and girls. Right hand over your heart. And let's give some respect and attention. Hi, I'm Marie King, and, I, and I'm in Dr. Milton's first grade class, and I would like to do the Pledge of Allegiance today. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bye! Wow. These make my day, Mr. Hudson. I got to tell you, Maeve King from Dr. Knowlton's first grade class. Amazing job. Boys and girls, notice how she said her name first. We love to hear your name. We love to hear your teacher. Keep those videos coming in, emailing it to myself or Mr. Hudson. Thank you, Maeve. Great job. Okay, we are continuing with open-minded. This is the word of the month. We've only got a couple days left, so we'll have some fun things to talk about these last few days of October. But today, the final bullet point that I have is... Open-minded people believe others have a right to share their beliefs and thoughts. Simple enough. If you're closed-minded, which is the opposite of open-minded, you don't care about what anybody else has to say. You don't listen to them. You don't care about their beliefs and their thoughts. But open-minded people do want to hear other people's beliefs and thoughts and believe they should be able to share them. So be open-minded. Be open-minded. All right, we're going to kick it off in SEL. Mr. Hudson, tell me a little bit about social awareness and what we're learning about today. So it's Wondrous Wednesday, and we are learning about social awareness. The standard is demonstrates awareness and understanding of others' cultural backgrounds, gender, identity, abilities, and differences. So what that means is you just acknowledge that there's differences between us. Everyone is not the same. We come from different backgrounds and we understand that. So by you just understanding, noticing and seeing that, that's a great start to having social awareness. And today's SEL Morning Motivator is, what can you do to make your teachers or a classmate smile today? Be the reason someone smiles. It could be telling a joke, doing a nice gesture, doing a few extra chores around the house for your parents that are working so hard, giving someone a hug, giving someone a high five, telling someone they did a great job in their class. Be the reason someone smiles today. Love it. Teachers, remember to check in with students. How are they feeling today? Let them pick a leaf that shows what they're feeling today and remember that ties right back into what Mr. Bland talked about, about being open-minded, caring about other people's feelings, opinions, and thoughts. So our closing thought for today is, remember, we all have feelings. Be thoughtful of others' feelings today, tomorrow, and every day. Well, awesome, Mr. Hudson. Thank you for those great social emotional learning lessons. Boys and girls, it is Wednesday. You may have seen Mr. Hudson and myself wearing our lovely Moore's brand advisors, which we love because today is put a cap on drugs day. Well, what does that mean? Well, first of all, we learned yesterday that drugs are things that can harm our body, that can keep us from reaching our full potential. We only want to put things in our body that are going to make us happy and healthy. We talked about not taking anything from anybody that's not your mom or your dad or somebody that you trust. So today, in honor of that, we are wearing our hats. Tomorrow is another day. Can't wait to see you team up against drugs. Joke of the day. What do you call birds that stick together, Mr. Bland? What do you call birds that stick together? Oh, man, I don't know, Mr. Hudson. This is the first time I ever see these jokes. So tell me, what is it? Velcros. <laughs> Velcro. Like Velcros. You got to peel it apart. <laughs> Velcros, crows, birds. I get it. Love like it. it. Great joke, Mr. Hudson. Wow, there's only one birthday today. 
but it is my man Hollis Dobbs. Happy birthday, Hollis Dobbs. The only birthday today on a wonderful Wednesday. Happy birthday, Hollis. All right, parents, no new information today. We are so excited about our book character parade on Friday. Make sure you read the B-mail today. Lots more of information in that virtual dance on Friday as well. Link is coming from your teachers and look out for that parent conference signups this Friday in your newsletter. But aside from that, have a wonderful Wednesday. Give your kids a big hug from Mr. Hudson, myself, and all of our teachers, and we can't wait to see you guys soon. Have a great day.